Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your Windows 10 camera or Windows 11 camera and you may be trying to fix it. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is making sure that if it's a third party camera, aka if it's a webcam and you have it plugged into your computer, you want to make sure that that computer is fully recognizing that you know actual webcam because if it's not then you may be having some issues with that specific webcam and it may not even be your PC. So that's the very first thing I'd recommend doing. As long as you can verify that that PC recognizes that webcam, then you're pretty much good to go with this first step. Now the second thing I would recommend doing is trying to figure out which specific application you're trying to go ahead and actually utilize a webcam with. So things like Google Chrome, they typically ask for permission for your specific webcam and you may have accidentally declined permission, which is totally okay. All you have to do and what I would recommend verifying is going and opening up an incognito tab. This is typically what I do. And I typically log in and I try to go through and, you know, if it's a Google Meet, if it's a Microsoft, whatever, Teams meeting, you want to go ahead and grab that link, post it into an incognito tab. And it's almost like it's a brand new browser. And then you want to log in. And if it actually prompts you to allow access to the camera, you want to click allow and see if it actually works. If it actually works, then you just pretty much just didn't allow access to that camera from, you know, the actual browser. So all you have to do is after the meeting or whatever, you just have to go back to that browser and allow permission for that specific webcam. And I'll go ahead and leave some links in the description that can go ahead and with the, some of the most common browsers, you can actually go and how to, uh, so you can go and actually allow those specific webcams. Now, for some reason you allow the webcam and it's still not working and you've plugged it in and you can verify it's working in other apps, but it's not working in some other ones. You may have to either update those applications or you may have to actually update your PC. So with the applications, it's easy. If you're using Microsoft Teams or if you're using Google Chrome or whatever it is, you want to type in, you know, Microsoft Teams update or Google Chrome update on Google, and you just want to download the latest version and you want to install it. And then at that point, you want to go ahead and make sure it works. And if it works, then you're set. If it still doesn't work and you're installed the newest version and you have the webcam, everything is set up, then you may have to update your PC. So you want to go inside of your Windows, you know, settings. You want to go and click on update. You want to go and search for updates or check for updates. And then you want to go ahead and update your PC. Typically at this point, it's going to take a little bit of time. So you may want to wait until your you know PC actually fixes itself and all that stuff. And then at that point, once your PC boots back up, you want to go ahead and check if it's working. You honestly, you should be good to go at this point. If it's still not working, I'll try different USB ports or I would try to contact Microsoft or the provider of your webcam and see what the issue is with that. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.